How's it going everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Buy Munich career mode series and this will be the 25th episode of the series and before we get into anything I really do have to apologize for the lack of uploads recently. I know I've been very apologetic over the last few episodes of not uploading frequently but I really just haven't had the time and in all honesty I don't really see the upload schedule and rate improving anytime soon although I do have an interesting collaboration series that will be coming out next week so make sure you stay on the look out for that but yeah with regards to this series I'm not really too sure what we're going to be doing with it because I know if I was watching this series as a viewer I wouldn't want to watch one episode a week being uploaded because the progression just wouldn't be good enough and overall it just wouldn't be as enjoyable if I don't upload this series every day or every other day which I had been doing so there's one of two options that I can do right now and I'm really really not sure which one to go for I don't even know if these are good options anyway you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments down below what you would prefer whether I should carry on with this series but not that regularly or if you want me to stop it and maybe do one-off videos I'd certainly be open to doing those one-off type of videos and I think they would be quite interesting as well but that's something that will have to be discussed over the next few episodes in the meantime we do have the Copper Europe final against Monaco and in all honesty as we get into this game against Monaco it's been a long time since I've sat down and recorded but it's also been a long time since I played this game so there is a chance I'm going to be a little bit rusty in this game and if I am I do apologize so it's the Champions League winners against the Europa League winners we played well in our last few matches in pre-season with Lewandowski being our star performer three goals in three matches we have already won the pre-season tournament and we are going with a really strong side in this game because I do want to try and beat Monaco here but I do know that they have a good lineup they've got some good players in there such as Falcao who could still prove a threat and generally speaking they've got some of the best young French talent as well as some good really individual standout players such as Joao Moutinho and Glick. Marco Royce, he's really got the edge on the defenders, hasn't he? We'll try and get it inside. He's still kept hold of it. Surely that's a pen. He's gone to ground there, but I don't know if he was taken out in the process or he just fell over. Joao Moutinho looking to find a pass inside. He has found a pass for Falcao, but it's a tame effort. Donnarumma's done well there. Royce is now running forward, looking for the pass through the middle. Are we going to get there? We are. That's a poor mistake from the defender. We're going to have a short... And it's fallen back for us there with Draxler. And he does end up making it 1-0. And I have to say, we were really lucky to keep hold of the ball there. The Monaco left back not really doing too well tracking back and giving the ball straight back to Draxler. And the goalkeeping isn't really that great either. It's parried right into Draxler's path and he does give us the lead. And you look at the stats at half-time and you can really see that Monaco have been a bit unlucky not to score. They've been on the front foot a lot of the time. We've been dominated in possession, which is a bit of a surprise. But we have been clinical with our chances. And as the second second half commences we just need to make sure we hold on to this lead and just win this game more than anything I would like to get some more silverware it's played up here to Bernardo Silva playing it in for Joao Moutinho in a bit of space there for the shot with Falcao and they do end up equalizing I genuinely didn't expect that pass to come in from the right I thought they were going to pass it to the first man but it's a really good through ball I can't really say it's not deserved from Monaco they have been pressing in that first half and they do get their reward they're expecting the cut back inside but I'm not going to do that Ray's doing quite well to contain him. We've got two players on Drax on Royce now. It's going to be Thiago trying to come all the way inside. He's done really well. It's a good shot and a really good finish as well. And my oh my, that was a FIFA 15s goal. I didn't, I really didn't expect Thiago to beat the defenders that easily in all honesty, but we have done really well there. It's a really well worked goal there by Thiago, our midfielder, and we are back in front. Trying to cut inside. We don't really have too many options on, but we have found the pass to Bale who's taken down. Not a foul given, and he's injured, I think. And Glick has certainly done what he intended to do there. Really, really rough challenge there on Bale, and hopefully he's not going to be injured for too long. 76 minutes have passed, and Monaco look to try and get an equaliser in this game with Bernardo Silva getting the cross in. And it's flicked on, and Lamar... How on earth did he miss that opportunity? My God, not even putting that one on target from three yards out. We have really, really been let off there. And we do end up winning the Copper Europe in the end 2-1. A really, really good result there against AS Monaco, picking up our second bit of silverware this season. And that's our first competitive bit of silverware we picked up this season in the Copper Europe. Monaco were very, very good in that game. They're very unlucky not to get anything from it, but we just played a little bit better than them. We took our chances really, really well, and we were very, very clinical and Philip Lahm must be getting used to this because he's picking up his second bit of silverware this season 
And I believe that's his fifth bit of silverware across two seasons already. Unbelievable stuff from the team. And we really definitely did deserve that win. Hopefully that's a sign of the success we're going to have this season. Because we really have started off this season well so far. And you can see by the stats that it was a pretty much dead even game. We just caught them out on the counter attack and really did punish them. And for winning the Copper Europe we've been given an additional 4 million. I mean it's not that much but I guess every little helps. And that will certainly help us with some transfers. I'm looking at the results from the poll on last episode and don't you worry I didn't forget about that there were a lot of suggestions that were made we did have a transfer offer accepted for Isco in the last episode and I did ask you guys if we should be going for him but the collective decision from the poll results does show that you guys want me to try and go for someone else instead and to be honest I do understand that because Isco's not really an upgrade on Draxler Draxler's 88 rated at the moment and we have other players that can play in that cam position such as Thiago and Vidal and even to a lesser extent as well players like Renato Sanchez even Royce one player that was suggested countless times in the comments below of last episode is Ousmane Dembele you could kind of make the same argument that we don't really need another winger but you guys have been saying I should sign this guy's back up to bail I'm not really too sure how much he'd be worth at this stage in career mode but I'll offer 20 million and hope that Dortmund accepts it and another very very interesting suggestion was made trying to sign potentially Paul Pogba I don't really see that one happening though it was a very good suggestion made by someone in the comments below of last episode but I just think he's going to be a bit too expensive since our Troy Vidal is on the decline we could potentially get him in a swap deal for Paul Pogba but it's unlikely I'll go ahead and try it anyway because there's no harm in trying we'll go ahead and offer Vidal and then maybe yeah we'll offer Vidal plus 48 million probably not going to be accepted but I just don't think we have the finances anyway and the final superstar player that was suggested is Kevin De Bruyne but again just like Isco I'm not really too sure why you guys want me to go for him. Kevin De Bruyne is only one overall rating higher than Draxler at the moment and I don't really see why Draxler should be taken out of the team. He'd be a very very expensive purchase and I think the only way I'd really be wanting to sign him is if I offer someone like Vidal in a swap deal and that's exactly what I will go ahead and do. I'm going to go ahead and offer 38 million plus Vidal see if it is accepted. And the same really goes for the Hexa Bayerin deal. A lot of people seem to be a fan of me trying to sign him. But considering he's only 81 overall at the age of 22 at the moment, I know he's got good potential and everything. But our backup right back at the moment, El Cid Haisaj, is one overall point higher and he's just got way more valuation. So trading out Haisaj for Bayerin doesn't really make too much sense, especially when Arsenal want 9 million as well. But I'm certainly not going to be offering 9 million plus Haisaj. I will instead offer 4 million. So we've actually had a trade to offer accepted then for Hector Bayerin. 4 million plus El Cid Haisaj. I kind of half expected that one to be accepted. I'm not going to lie. This still doesn't really make too much sense because at the end of the day we are trading technically a better right back for Hector Bayerin. But I will at least be offering him a contract at minimum. And maybe in the next episode we can decide if we should sign him. For Usmane Dembele they want 33 million pounds. And it's not really surprising. He's such a talented youngster. And I believe at this point in career mode he's probably... Probably about 80 to 83 overall. We also have a transfer offer here for Douglas Costa as well. And it's going to be from Dortmund. Now that's an interesting one. Douglas Costa is a really good player. I don't really know if I want to be selling him to Dortmund. I'd say if we get about double his valuation at 70 million. Then it probably would be worth selling him. And for Kevin De Bruyne. It looks like Man City do want a bit of money on top. It's a good start that they're interested in Vidal though. So that will make the deal a bit easier if we can pull it off. I'll go ahead and offer 48 million plus for Vidal. Whether it's accepted or not it probably won't be but I think this will be my final offer for Paul Pogba I think this deal is going to be pretty much impossible to go with even though Vidal's worth about 40 million even adding that 48 million on top just isn't enough and it's a real shame because I would like to sign Paul Pogba but I just don't really see it happening and it's another really intriguing transfer offer as well this time for Mats Hummels coming from PSG I wouldn't be against selling him but at the same time he's only just arrived back at Bayern so unless they're willing to give me about 80 million for Hummels I'm really not willing to sell him but it's good news because we do have a transfer offer accepted at least for Dembele 27 million I'm probably overpaying for him he does also want a pretty hefty wage increase on his 50 grand that he's currently on I'll offer him a five-year deal though 80,000 a week and see if it does get accepted well clearly Dortmund are on a budget for Douglas Costa that is a very specific number they've counted with I mean sorry Dortmund I was actually looking for 49 million 856,700 176. I mean, if you can't offer me that, that's just game over. 
I'm not taking it otherwise. Maybe if they offer me an extra 20 million on top of what they've offered, I'd, I'd be happy with that. But it looks like they're probably not going to accept this one. For Kevin De Bruyne as well, it looks like the negotiations are going to be pretty sticky. We're really in a deadlock at the moment. They're just not budging on the price they've set for him. But I will offer 58 million plus for Dow. And we just got to pray that this one does finally get accepted because it is well over his valuation. For Mats Hummels though, PSG are willing to go as high as 72 million. So they're really not too far off the valuation I had of him. I set the bar for 80 million and they're only actually a few million off, which is pretty nuts. Again, though, PSG have a lot of money. So if they really want to sign him, they're going to have to offer 81 million. And it's the two youngsters that have accepted their contracts, Ousmane Dembele and also Hector Bellerin. I think Dembele would be a good signing, especially as the deal for De Bruyne doesn't really look too likely. But I will be holding out on that one just for the time being, just in case something does come up. Ah, oh my God, if only we just had a few extra million to play with. We, we would probably be able to make this De Bruyne deal happen, but it would completely obliterate our transfer budget but i will be making a final offer of 68 million plus for dow hopefully it's accepted but i just don't see it happening dortmund are clearly not willing to match my valuation of costs of those so i'm just going to reject this one but we are going to be ending off this episode by seeing that we have two contract offers accepted here one from bayerin and also one from dembele we could easily accept this one and go for both of these players we are massively massively overpaying for dembele though and the same goes for bayerin as well we are massively Massively, massively overpaying for him but these were two players that were heavily suggested in the comments below of last episode and if you think we should be signing either of them or maybe both of them do let me know in the comments below and also let me know by voting in the poll in the top right corner make sure you cast your vote there because it really does help in trying to get an understanding of what players you want me to sign but this is where we will be ending off this episode of this career mode and I do apologize for this episode being short once again but it's been way too long since the last episode so I'd rather upload a shorter episode than none at all if you have enjoyed this episode make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video because it really does help out my channel and also let me know in the comments below if you'd be happy with me continuing this series because if i do continue this series i can't guarantee that i will be uploading it frequently maybe i could do like a few jumbo episodes and blast through the whole season in about four or five episodes although then again i'm not really too sure if you'd want to see that make sure you let me know in the comments below and also make sure you leave your transfer suggestions as well but a Apart from that, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.